dance is not just another type of dance. Rather, it is one that celebrates the culture and traditions of the Igbo people. Um, the style, the way you position yourself to dance. Different tribes in Nigeria, we, we, they have their own way of dancing. In Igbo land, when you dance, there's something we say, Ukuruala. you have to bend down to get your waist down and twist it, you know, mesmerize people, let them take notice of what you are doing by, you know, an Igbo maiden, a really Igbo maiden, when she's dancing, you see her waist very low and then she will display. When an Igbo maiden dances, she can get anything from the society. Something that will, you know, you remember in um, in the Bible when uh, they said uh, King Ahab, when when um, when um, the, the daughter the daughter danced and impressed him, he, he asked her, "What can I do for you?" It's a dance. He has a lot of impact. Igbo maidens, Igbo women, when they dance for you, you kill goats. A Igbo is something special when they dance for you. The question of who is an Igbo maiden brought laughter to everyone present. Not just that, not, that's part of it. The dance, the culture, the language, everything is what uh, uh, is, is brought with uh, in Adibu Island. But then what my chairman is trying to say, from my point of view of a maiden myself, what he's trying to say... <laughs> are, you, are you still a maiden? I'm a maiden. Maiden, of course. Is a maiden. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the young girls. That yeah, they, we have young maidens. We call them young maidens. Yeah. Well, the married people are also maidens. Yeah, I'm a married maiden. I'm just knowing that now. Maidens to their husbands. I'm a maiden to my husband. All right, now you're saying it. Now you're saying it. <laughs> Penelope believes that the high point of the night will be when the Igbo maidens take to the dance floor. So what he's trying to say there is the way we carry ourselves Igbo maiden proudly, regal, we like when we are dancing we bring style to it and you'll be mesmerized like you won't take your eyes off an Igbo maiden dancing. The courage, the beauty, the uh, ro yeah very royalty and we teach them that, that and over the years we've seen them perform that and we are very proud of them because these are girls that live here, most of them born and bred here. Some of them have not even gone back to Nigeria. So we are bringing Igbo culture to Ireland. Mr. Big J believes that bringing different tribes from Nigerians together on the night is a way of forging unity and understanding amongst Nigerians. Well, um, in this uh, this year's Adibo, um, we have other people, uh, other tribes, Nigerian tribes on board. People like Isakon people, um, Isakon people, Edo people, Yoruba people, and um, Bini, yeah, all Edo kingdom, river states, Delta, they, they are there. A lot of people are involved. And they're all coming hmm. to this year's uh, Adebo. The ambassador, Nigerian ambassador here, told me, personally told me, that as soon as it, this is the time, I should let him know that they will be come to represent Nigeria in general. Mm -hmm. So, this is all our efforts to make sure that we get other tribes involved. At that Igbo is becoming a platform to build one Nigeria in Ireland. It's, um, everybody knows it's Adibo Island that is being celebrated on that day. But at the same time, um, we are all part of Nigeria and uh, we have invited other cultures to and other tribes to come and celebrate with us and they are happy to do so. And we will go over to theirs if they have anything to do, we'll go over to them and support them 
because we are all one Nigeria. So, um, like, also, maybe I'll use the, uh, this opportunity to also mention that in all the preparation of Adibu in the past, before now, that one of the person that directs and works with the girls during boot camp is a Yoruba man by name Kunle Animashan. We cannot finish this interview without mentioning him. He is not Igbo, but he has been in full support. He brought his time, his energy, his money, he transports himself to the boot camp and teaches these girls uh, uh, how to, like, stage management and everything. And he's Yoruba. Um, so we want to have more of them participate and we've reached out to other tribes and they have given us positive feedback and they will be involved on the day. In 10 years from now, the Ada Ibo maidens will have the audacity to beat their chest anywhere and say, I am an Igbo girl. Igbo, they will dress in Igbo regalia with confidence and not be ashamed that, oh, I'm wearing this Ankara or I'm tying this, I'm wearing um, a jelly around my, my legs and, and I, my, my Irish counterpart, uh, they are laughing at me and saying, oh, what is that thing I'm wearing on my leg that is making this kind of sound? We want our children to be proud of our traditional dressing, proud of our language, proud of the food, proud of our hairstyle, proud of everything we do, our, even the way we talk, even our accent. They should all be, they should be proud of it because it, it is what makes us, it is who we are and we can't take, nobody should take that away or deny us of that. Ten years from now, God willing, we would have, we would have raised and nurtured young children that would look back and say, I am so proud. I would beat their chest and say, I am so proud to be Igbo. I am so proud. I am so happy. I am so glad. And I bless my generation and I bless my forefathers and I bless Mrs. Anews and I bless uh, Big Joe Bijak and I bless Mrs. Noyelu Migeli and I bless Stephanie Bijak and all the other sponsors, you know, that have supported this program with the, with the same passion that we have. The Adaibo Night, according to the director of Adaibo in County Loud, is a night to celebrate. Yeah, I don't have, like, uh, Adibo is an Adibo by name, but Adibo of a thing is something to talk about Nigeria or Africa as a whole, so it doesn't, it's not just an Igbo of a thing. So I will have to tell our girls, our African girls, our African young ones, you come out, you see what the culture looks like, you see how to carry yourself as an African, you see how to, how to compose yourself as a young one. Uh, just to encourage uh, parents, especially mothers, to get their daughters involved in the Adibo competition. Um, it's, not, it's a cultural pageant, it's not a beauty pageant. It's not about how tall you are, how short you are, how beautiful you are, how ugly you are, how fat you are, how slim you are. It's not about the bodily um, beauty or anything. It's a cultural project. It was time for Mr. Big J to thank the people that have been of tremendous help and support to the organization and urge them to come out and support the 2017 edition of Adaibo pageant. What I have to tell the public um, this time is that um, they should attend Adibo 2017 and see something different. Something that will make them remember home. Something that will make them to know that our country or African continent is where you will not forget completely, even though, no matter where you are all over the world. You have to, have to remember your heritage. Remember what your parents, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, what they laid down for us. It's a way forward. It's something that we have to continue to do. Remember, the United Nations said that in due time, if we don't keep up with Igbo culture, it's going to die. No tribe, no culture is what that. Please, my people, come over. We will entertain you. We will make you feel nostalgia. We will make you see the things that you've been missing for years. And that's all. And then, most importantly, I will not fail to thank people that have been supporting us over the years. I thank you, Mr. Kunla Animashawo. I thank you, Mr. Peter Ohina. I thank um, a lot of people in general. Uh, chairman of um, Igbo Union Waterford and so on and so forth. Thank you guys.
thank you chairman of Ibo Union uh, Dublin, Chico Kebugu. I thank you people, Greg Ume uh, and Glenn Ademora. I thank you guys, Onodugo guys. You've been our initial supporter from day one. I thank you, Kelechua Mumere. God bless you. I thank our Anambra State Association Dublin. I thank you people. God bless you all. One love. Udo. The creative director of Adaibo, Mrs. Stephanie Obijaku, joined by her husband, Mr. Big J, all Nigerians and friends of Nigerians to come out on the night and witness the celebration of culture and traditions that can only be found amongst the Igbo people and Nigeria in general. <laughs> They want to the Nigerians. <laughs> they want to the Irish. <laughs> 2nd of July 2017 is Adibo. Third year running. It will be a pleasure to see you there. If you can, please make it. If you can't, support us. Promote our post on Facebook. Talk to your friends. Encourage your children to come out. It's a once in a year event. We would like to see you there. We want you to be there. We, we desire that you are there. Your support means everything to us. We love you. Ibo Gade. Our culture will not die. We will hand it down safely to the next generation. But we need your help. See you there. <laughs> If I am possessed, I will not be able to do it. 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 I will not Bikono, Otano, Ajula, Kunu Pada Debo, a king fine name, a brother Lefe. Bikono, Egypt Bamo Hela, Nekene, Ototundina Padai, Nde, Ibona Padai, Deca, Tijabus, Godi, Tijabus.